Hello. Okay, it's been a hot minute since I did one of these, so let's have a blenderizer. Alright, first set. FCS Hanna? Alright. We got the FCS Hanna. Got inside DD10s. Uh, where are those? That's nifty. And then the sailboat radar on the back. Fair enough. Okay, and then let's re-roll each of those a second time. Uni boosters, uh, extension back boosters, and the venti rifle. Okay. So, uni boosters are, I believe... Yeah, those are the starters. Already have that. Um, extension back boosters are these ones, and then the venti rifle is this thing. It's got all those sweet vents on it. Uh, this is one piece of crap mission build. Okay. Hmm, the Fen testing grounds. Nifty. Alright. A few optional parts on here, since I had one that was absolutely ridiculous that I just went and threw right out right away. Because I essentially got nothing but uh, spread bazooka arms on a uh, overweight AC that could barely turn and uh, had to go fight Ace. <laughs> And almost won, but he had like 300 AP left, and that was the end of that. Alright, uh... Alright, let's say I'm... More just sight lock because I need that. And let's say that one, because I do recall this one having issues. as the bombing one. So unlimited MTs, that's a problem. Hang it. I'm just trying to take as little damage as possible until the bomber shows up. Cover shooter, this crap. Weirdly surreal uh, with this one, uh, having the um, the menu music just like in the mission. And I forgot to actually check if this rifle has a uh, higher or lower accuracy or uh, range than the missiles. I'm starting to get overwhelmed here. It's interesting that the AI, specifically for this one, uh, the way that they move around is weirdly effective. Like, they're shockingly good at surrounding you. Where are you? I actually kind of wish this map would have gotten used more. It's, uh, it's a nice little map. Translation, hold out for one minute against unlimited stuff. Yeah, it'd be nice if you actually showed up and helped. And why the hell not? I mean, I guess, yeah, it's, a, it's good training for them to be able to adapt and whatnot. But it's a little bit unfair. Like, oh! Good job on your infantry training, here's a tank. Uh, now that you have learned what, what a trigger does, go deal with that. Alright. Now, I've seen this thing coming from different directions before. Um, not sure why that is. Alright, so now it's in the area. Please don't shoot me out of the sky. This thing hit. Yes, it can. 
I think this thing, uh, this uh, bomber thing actually has a bit of a ghost hitbox to it. Because it always seems to be easier to lock onto than it should. Alright, done deal. That went better than I would have expected. Good job not getting nuked. Thank you, Raven. Wait a second, is that, that thing's still falling. Can we wait until it hits the ground or something? Or maybe worry about where it's hitting the ground, because, uh... That is a big thing, to be hitting the ground, I'm just saying. Seems like we should be a little bit more worried about that ridiculously slow-moving object. Oh well, I guess I don't particularly care. Okay, solid edge legs, uh, Gen SZV, and the back satellite. Alright. And looking over the list again, I actually looked at this a bit long, a bit wrong last time. These are the solid edge legs. They're solid, they have edges. There's actual edges. Those are actually on there separately. These are the solid edges. So, I did a derp on that one. I accidentally popped on the wrong part last time. Uh, was that last time? I don't know. It was one of the times. Wait, is that... No, wait, ZSV is what I want, right? Yeah, ZSV. That's this one. Even better. And... the back satellite, right. Now for back parts, as I've mentioned before, um, basically either one can be replaced. In this case, I'm just going to replace this one. Just because setting hard rules for what needs to be replaced just leads to a situation where you're stuck with double radars, and that's irritating. Uh... I want to say arena. I got lucky last time, but I really don't want to... It's reasonably durable, though. Hang on, what kind of damage are we looking at on this rifle? Uh, 350... Close to... yeah... Alright. It's sort of a sniper build. Let's go for another mission here. Steel access program. Okay, that's possible. Ow, oh, Jesus Christ! Just drop my friggin' phone on the side of my foot and that hurt like hell. Okay. This thing, I believe, has earned a color scheme because I was expecting it to die. Um... Yeah, that looks pretty snipey. Maybe, uh, give it some... camo or whatever. It's funny that they even bother giving it a little thing that says, Oh, would you like a different pattern? As if you're gonna unlock any different patterns throughout the entire series. Oh well. So, uh, access program... There we go. This is not the one I thought it was. Alright. Wait, no, yes it is, yes it is. I'm thinking of uh, the one with the laser beams. I also have no idea why it's showing up that I've never done this one. Because I'm pretty sure it's obligatory. Oh well. Uh, these will be useless, these will be useless. Uh, we're just gonna go with uh, rifle and knife. Eh, whatever. little tiny bit. I can snipe these guys. Ammo costs aren't really that much of a concern here. Or a concern whatsoever. I thought I was shooting you. Oh. Yeah, this rifle actually works really well with the uh, long-range FCS. Mm -hmm. 
That's kind of amazing. Despite basically playing through third gen over and over and over ad nauseum since I've been a kid, somehow I never noticed that this core lost its uh, OB abilities um, in later third gen. I just always kind of assumed it was there, but I never really used it. <laughs> but apparently it's just a straight up upgrade to the, um, the small one. Basically, if you've got a little bit of AP to spare, you can spare yourself. You can kind of hedge your bets uh, for those lasers there if you just blade through them. Like, sometimes you'll try to go through and then you'll end up getting hit by the top ones and everything else, trying to avoid all of them. I mean, as long as you have extra, and especially on this one, you might as well just blade through them. You end up moving slightly faster, probably take one or two less hits if you do it that way. No, I got that one at least. I kind of want to. No. I want you guys not to be here when I come back last time. That's totally not how it works, but it'd be cool if it did. What Nexus tried to do. Uh, I wish... Like, if they ever end up making an AC6. I hope it ends up being like Nexus, except done right. Like, take... Take the challenge mode thing from, uh from VD, and then just like throw in the uh, the way that the plot and stuff was uh, the sort of branching mission path thing uh, that they tried to do in Nexus. Alright. Marty Arms? I got mail. Do I seriously have a part that I haven't gotten before? No oh, crap. <laughs> I somehow have been doing this this entire time with a part that I've never bought before. Nifty. How I missed that? Who even knows? I don't think, but did I start this on the right file? Hmm. Well, that's a mystery. Anyways, let's see. Radiator icicle. And AC2 claw. Fantastic. Alright, this is a pretty solid mission build. I'm liking it. It reminds me of something, but I can't remember what. Alright, defend energy. Oh, frick. Defend energy reactor. Well, I'll rip run, I guess. Ooh. Where's this stupid thing again? Yeah, energy reactor would be an energy production, wouldn't it? System engaged. No, we don't need that, we don't need that. We don't need that too. Nifty. There's no time to waste. Does it look like I'm wasting time? You know, I always forget how friggin' amazing this rifle is. To do that. Ah, crap. Sorry, I'm just holding down the button and that's the one that I have the blade on. Right, please die. Right, so far so good. <gasps> okay. Actually pulled it off. Um, 
I'm a little bit surprised. Because this thing's all shell defense and no energy defense, as you saw by it, like, ripping off friggin' 5k out of nowhere. Alright, RE008 head, CR5000 radiator, and the arm cross shield. Alright. Don't mess with that, uh... As long as it doesn't mess with the combination that we've got going, that's just fine. Alright, RE008. Alright. Yeah, 008. CR5000. Alright, crap. Oh wait, that is... Somehow not overweight, just barely. Uh, and cross shield. Okay. This has taken on an all new uh, brand of suck potential, but um, let's see. As far as hard missions that are there, I, I wouldn't go for arena fights on this one because it's got like no raw damage potential, so I'd have to pretty much rely on either getting a sucky one or zone outs, and mission-wise I can snipe, so let me just go for another mission then. Assault Crest facility, okay, fair enough. Um, ammo might be an issue for this one. I think I'm just going to try to go for bare minimum. Not those, first of all. I don't need those. Hmm, maybe I should have kept the decoys. people to hire, why on earth do they hire Apathy for this? They're like, you are a complete joke build. Go ahead and hire you. Maybe You know what, maybe they were just on Craigslist, they were looking through the discount section. Like, hmm. Got mercenaries on the cheap right here. One's agreeing to work for a sandwich, I guess. Like, they'll settle for a Hot Pocket, apparently. Sector E07 is next. Area secure. Sector N41 is next. Okay. Yeah, I used to love using this rifle back in the day, and I really don't know how I always forget how good it is. This is Joker. Sector S04 is clear. Hey. Okay. Don't want to use missiles at this close, but. Get to sector S16. No deal. These MTs right here are a friggin' run killer, I gotta say. They haven't yet, but uh, for a lot of the different challenge runs that I used to do, there were a lot that ended up getting ended because of those guys. Because I tried to do um, Iron Man runs of all kinds of different stuff back in the day. You are lying. Because she spawns in with full ammo, I'm pretty certain. Sector clear. All right, so I'm still doing reasonably all right on ammo, so we're gonna continue on. Lies. My AC is taking a beating. I need help. 
Well, not beating it. Sector N32, clear. Funny, I found out a while ago you can save them. I don't know why that's still something that impresses me that you can actually save him. Because, like, I always thought that he was just scripted to blow up the second you open the door. That's just a coincidence. Dang it. Sector S. W07 clear. Head to Sector S31. Pew, pew, pew. 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 Dang it. How many pews does it take to end you? Hmm. Only got 115 pews left. Sorry, but my AC has had it. That is very believable. Much more so than, um, friggin' rotation in the sequel. It's taking too long. Hurry. It's taking too long. I don't like you're in any hurry. The guy just survives and everything works out better if I don't make it there on time. <laughs> Alright, let's see if I can time this right. Raven, another AC made it to the generators. Clear the area around your current but here's the funny part, right? He was supposed to be the one that made it, and actually it's funny because sometimes uh, if you open it right as he's saying that, and manage to uh, get all these guys quick enough, um, it'll just basically uh, allow you to go to the end even though they tell you that uh, somebody else made it to the generators. But yeah, that's the funny thing. It, it's implied that uh, the twin head's the one that makes it in there, because no one's in there. And you can see from the radar no one's in there. I'm like, oh, somebody else made it in there. Except the guy's dead, so nobody made it in there, actually. But whatever. Moving on. Because uh, the only other ones, uh, let's see. I mean, I guess it could be Kaiser. He never actually shows up, but I think he just, like, leaves partway through. You never hear from him again. Uh, friggin' uh, Yellow Boat backs out. Flying Fix lies about her ammo situation. And Twin Head dies, so... Meh. Right, Snisk legs, Terrier extensions, and the mid-missile block on the back. I think I'll probably slap this thing together and call it apart right there. Snisk legs. Oh crap, I didn't mean to. Whatever. Snisk legs. Where are you, Snisks? There you are. Now, what are the other ones? Terrier extensions? That's fantastic. Definitely better than this stupid thing. And the mid-missile block on the back. So oh, that's this thing. We've got some pretty decent missile damage. This is looking more and more generic by the part, I gotta say. Um, starting to get a tad overweight, though. Alright, how much do these things weigh? 399, 70, yeah. That's gonna have to go. Alright, that's still workable though. So, I'll call it apart there, and see you next time.